Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge KW Command App Mini Series. And today is day three. Yesterday, we worked through the basics of contacts tasks, and I showed you how to view them, how to complete them, how to reschedule or archive them. And today I want to show you how to create a task and all the abilities there. So we've got a couple of different ways to create a task. I can come into any one of the three panels at the very top of my screen. You see due today, due soon, or past due. I'm just going to click on due today. And in the bottom right hand corner, you will see that there is a plus sign. If I click on that plus sign, I get the ability to create a task. And from here, I can enter a task name. So maybe it is, um, I'm going to create a task to call Donald Duck, right? So you've seen this task. Let's say we wanna follow up on this weekend's showings, right? And there you go. Um, and I can then decide, is this a task that I want due at any point in the day, meaning it's an all day task, or I can unselect the checkbox next to all day and actually add a specific due time in addition to due date. So you can see with the checkbox marked, I can only choose the actual day. When is it actually due? So I can say maybe this is going to be due on the third. So if I click on confirm, you can see that that's a task that will show up with no specific time attached, but an actual date attached. If I choose to deselect the all day button, now you can see by default, it will say that it is due by 1159 on that day. And I can come in and now I actually have sliders to decide what time do I want that to be done. So let's say I wanna do my lead gen at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that task in for Friday December 3rd at 10 a.m. and confirm. On tasks, I also have the ability to add a hyperlink. So let's say I actually had a URL maybe from, um, you know, showings.com or whatever my uh, MLS matrix was or something along those lines. If I had any sort of hyperlink, I could click on this box and paste it in there. I also have the ability to actually add a contact associated with this task. I would recommend if your task has anything to do with a specific person in your database, add the actual contact. It makes it much easier to kind of navigate through the actual tasks associated with the contact if the contact is actually associated. So I can click on add remove. It's going to take me into my contacts associated. I can click on search and I can look for Donald's name by searching Donald. There he was, there we go. Now I got Donald Duck. And if I click on his name, I can get the checkbox. Top right hand corner, I would click on save. And now you can see at the very bottom that I have a contact associated. Let's say maybe that was the wrong Donald Duck or maybe I didn't want to associate it with Donald. I can also click add remove and I can uncheck Donald's name or I could recheck Donald's name, right? And go into save, either way I'd like to do that. I can also mark this as a call task. This is really important because there's actually a toggle within your task manager to only show you your call tasks or to show you all of your tasks. So if you want to make sure that you see this task when you toggle on show only call tasks, mark this as a call task. It also provides for that button that you saw yesterday that said call. If you don't have this button checked, then you won't get that option. So I'm gonna click on save. And now you can see that if I choose the due date today and transition that to next seven days, I will have that Donald Duck call, which is due December 3rd or within the next seven days. Because it is a call task, you can see that the call button is next to the 10 a.m because I marked it as a call task. Also, I can toggle off or on call tasks. To the left is toggled off, so that's gonna show me all of my tasks. If I toggle it on, it would only show me my call tasks. Now, both of the tasks I have are call tasks, so it's showing the same either way, but that's how you could say, hey, I just wanna see the tasks associated with phone calls that I need to make today. 
One other way to add tasks is to actually go into the contact record itself. So if I click on contacts and I go in and actually search for my contact and then choose that contact itself. So you can see I searched previously on a video for Donald. If I click on Donald's name, it'll bring up Donald's contact record and I get that same opportunity in the bottom right with that plus sign. If I click on the plus sign, you can see that there is an add task button. And if I choose that, I get this same exact option for Donald, except for I don't have the associate contacts because this task will be automatically associated to Donald. So if I click on cancel, you can also see then one more time at the very top, the five tabs, details, timeline, smart plans, notes, and tasks. If I click on tasks, then you can also see the tasks associated with this specific contact. Tomorrow, we're gonna to actually dive into contacts and start working through that applet. I just wanted to show you tasks to start off with because I do believe it's one of the most important things that's going to be used inside of this command app. Guys, that's it for today three. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.